What the F is up internet? I'm that dude Swainzilla. AKA old guy with too much time on his hands, well, actually I'm just an avatar, because this bum is too damn lazy to film and edit a webcam video for this. Anywho, I'm coming at you from the man cave, and I'm about to drop a brand new digital caricature drawing on dad ass. Let's get into it shall we? Here we are in Photoshop. We always start with a yellowish canvas, because plain white is boring as hell and the yellow seems easier on the eyes. We'll frame our caricature at the end, so we use this background oval as a guide. It'll help us figure out how we want our subject to fit on the page. And the subscriber requested subject of this video is probably the only person to star on Jackass and Dancing with the Stars. For my homie, Titan Unlimited, the one and only, Steve-O. The first thing we do is take a big red pencil brush, lower its opacity, and begin sketching out a foundation of the major shapes, and loosely refine our lines until we get our initial ideas in the right spots. Some people can sketch something like this in a few minutes. It took this guy a half hour. Not too shabby. Now we'll cut into him a bit with our polygonal lasso tool, and make some adjustments. Since this is gonna be a caricature, we want to exaggerate everything we can. This step was kinda pointless, he pretty much just went around softening and darkening up the lines for some reason. All of that, just to transform him some more? That murdered about 20 minutes of his life. That's why we record these. Anyway, let's lower this layer's opacity, add a new one, and go in with a blue pencil brush. The idea here is to plug more detail into our lines. I don't know about you, but I dig the contrast of the red, blue, and yellow. Let's ditch the red, and whip out our polygonal lasso and transform tools to make some more adjustments. We just want to amplify our dimensions as much as we can, while maintaining the likeness to Stevo. Easier said, than done. Once our most basic ideas are laid out, we add a new layer, pick a grey pencil brush, and really start drawing this damn thing. Just trying to give it some structure, and pop in some more detail. This dude's face has a ton of character, but making him recognizable is a challenge. We kinda like it, but he's still off a touch. So we break out our warp transform tool, and stretch, push, and pull our lines around until we get them closer to how we see them in our head. Eh. Guess we need our polygonal lasso and transform tools again. We're still not completely satisfied. So we're going to add another layer, and redraw it with more focus on structure. The detail lines are legit, so things must not be lined up correctly. It's better, but is still not exactly where we want things. When we're desperate we'll break out the liquify tool. He can't figure out how to record that for you though. But it's just bloating, squeezing, and pushing the different shapes around. We like it. Time to add a new layer for our final draft of this thing. We start with a light coat. Just trying to define our major shapes. Then we go back over it with darker and more detailed lines.
yay. We finally have some line art. So now that that's done we have to start thinking about what lines to make permanent, and the colors we want to use. We use a thick to thin brush, and start laying down our darkest lines, then the lighter ones, and then the lightest. We have a special effects brush to shape up our hair. Drop in our eyebrows, touch up the hairline, and then we move on to slapping down our flat colors. As we fill in his face, we keep all of these layers separate for now. We also adjust our colors as we go. Now we'll add some rosiness to areas the blood is closest to the surface of his skin. We blur it, and then adjust the opacity. We'll add some tone to his face. A little yellow, some red, and a bit of blue around the chin area. It's time to mash our coinciding line layers and flat color layers together. Looks kinda creepy don't it? Let's adjust our colors a bit. Just trying to get the contrast between our lines and flats right. Our colors are gonna be what makes this look like Steve-O, I just don't think many people know what he looks like. We start our shading by defining our light source with some general gradient shadows and highlights. The light hits every part of him differently. Now we start adding our more targeted shadows and highlights. We use multiply layers for our shadows and screen layers for our highlights and we get more detailed as we go. I think it's actually starting to look like Stevo. We merge our shadow and highlight layers with our separate base layers. That just looks super funny to me. Then we adjust our colors some more. Now we merge all of our layers together, and adjust our colors even more. Let's slap on another round of shadows and highlights. It took us a minute to get his teeth looking respectable. Then we finish up these shadows and highlights. We smash everything together, and get him ready to pop in our background. We add a new layer under him, frame him up, and fill our oval shape with a random color. Now we adjust our colors again. Give him a little outline and a nameplate, and we're done.